Hey, this is Scott Smith from Cobra Firing Systems. Hi, and this is Will Harvey from Finale Fireworks. Great, thanks for taking the time to watch this video. So today we're gonna to be talking about essentially step scripting, but using that in conjunction with the tracks feature within Finale. So, so what does that mean? What applications would we use this for? So how this works, and I'll use an example of say a stage concert performance, right? So you have your performer, uh, they're gonna be playing a series of songs in a predefined order. And throughout that performance, we have defined effects, pyro effects that we wanna execute at specific points. So for example, we may wanna do a flame chase or perhaps there's a wall of gerbs that we're gonna be firing. And so we have a whole series of these different effects. We're gonna be firing them in a different time. And what we want the system to do is allow us to hit the step button. It'll fire that effect, whatever that sequence is, right? And then when it's complete, it's going to pause itself and when we're at that next point within the performance we're going to hit the step button again so essentially what we're doing is all we're is just pressing that step button every time we get to one of those pyro effects until the performance is complete and so will why don't you go ahead and let's uh let's walk through how to do this within finale great that makes sense well um we'll, we'll create two tracks here um of two sequences so i just inserted effects into uh nine positions here. I'll put them into a sequence from left to right. Uh, and we'll say this is the first um, kind of flourish or you know, mini script that is going to take place in the, in the, in the concert. Uh, and then I get a copy and paste uh, to make a second flourish. Um, and I'm going to reverse the order of this one just to make it different. Okay, so we've got the first sequence and the second sequence. Now, to separate them in the script so that there's sort of a pause between them waiting for you to press the step button on the Cobra controller, um, we'll assign these to be separate tracks in Finale, uh, and we'll do them in sequential orders. So the first one um, will make track one, and the second will make track two. Um, to do that, I need to unhide the track column, which is hidden by default. So I go to the upper right-hand corner to the blue gear menu, unhide the track column. Now I've got this track column where I can put in the, the track number that's going to separate the first sequence from the second sequence. So. I put in track number one for the first sequence, and then I'll put in uh, track number two for the second sequence. Okay, we've got them split off from each other now by the track. And the next step is I need to set the channel and uh, cue numbers on, on Cobra, which we call the firing system addresses. And in finale, they're referred to as the rail and pin. So same thing, just different name, rail, pin, channel, cue. Okay, go to address show, select Cobra, and we've got uh, a few different options here. Um, Scott, why don't you explain what the options are and which one to pick for a concert situation where you're designing tracks that go in sequential order but have a pause in between them. Yeah, absolutely. So the first thing you wanna do is make sure you know what firmware version that you're running. Uh, so in, uh, in our case, we're going to choose 5.0, but you see we do, do have different firmware versions listed here. And the option that we're going to want to choose here is called Step Script by Tracks. Okay, so essentially we're creating a step script. Uh, it's going to be using the tracks feature within Finale. So let's, why don't you go ahead and select that, Will, and uh, actually choose, a, I think you chose the wrong one there. Did I? I'll check again. <laughs> Give it another shot. Um, Address show. Oh, I did. A step scripts by track. That's one fourth one now. Okay, it assigned nine modules for nine positions. That makes sense. Uh, 18 pins, 18 cues. That makes sense too. The rail and pin columns are filled out. Uh, all right, I think we're ready to export our script. File, export, export firing system script. Um, and now I think I need to go to the, uh, the USB drive. So maybe you can pick up here, Scott, and 
tell them what to uh, how to save the file so that it can be uh, read in by on the cover control. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, as you showed in a different video, you're going to want to save this directly to your thumb drive. So why don't you go ahead and Will has already navigated to his thumb drive, type in the word Cobra within the file name. And it's important to know that you will always want to call this Cobra just because Cobra is looking for that specific file name. Uh, it is case insensitive, so you can use capital letters if you need to. And let's go ahead and save that file. Excellent, so once we save this file, we're gonna place the thumb drive into the R2, load it into the controller. Um, but for this demonstration, Will, why don't we just go ahead and open up this file. Let's take a quick look at it. So normally you wouldn't go into the file, but for this just to show everyone how this is set up, uh, you'll notice that uh, similar to other scripts, we're going to have our trigger channel and trigger button, which is in row two. Uh, and as always, uh, Finale will default to channel zero Q1 to start our script. And you notice once you start the script, that's gonna fire the first sequence of events. Uh, you'll see here from channel zero to eight with a uh, 0.1 second delay in between. So that's kind of our first sequence, right, within our concert. And at this point, the performer's you know, gonna be performing and we're just essentially waiting for that next uh, time in which we're gonna fire the next effect. So we're gonna have our finger on the step button and once we're at that point, boom, we hit the step button and that's gonna go ahead and fire our second sequence. So this is obviously a fairly simple script. You can probably have more step sequences within the script, but uh, for this demonstration, we wanna keep it simple so you can understand how it works. Perfect, that Great. makes sense for me. Add to that, Will? That makes nothing to add. That makes sense. All right, perfect. Well, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully it was informative and um, take care.